You want to know who Thomas Gilman and David Taylor just called out at the latest Nittany Lion Wrestling Club event? Let's stop stalling and start talking wrestling. What's going on wrestling fans? My name is Josiah and welcome to the Fanco Wrestling YouTube channel. And on this channel, we like to talk about the latest going on with in the world of wrestling and of course the recapping recent wrestling events in the most recent wrestling event there were actually a couple in the past weekend but one of them was the nittany line wrestling club event which took place on november 24th and this was the third live event of the year and nittany line wrestling club has just been rolling through these events and i as a penn state fan i just love to watch them if you're a wrestling fan they've been giving us some fantastic matches and this match this event did not disappoint i mean I mean, we had some phenomenal uh, wrestling in this event. And to be honest with you, I actually did not watch live. I wasn't able to watch live last night, but I did watch on the replay. So if you are looking for that replay, you can check that out down in the description below. That will take you right there to the Rock Finn event. And as far as talking about who won, who lost, who David Taylor called out, who Thomas Gilman called out, that was very, very interesting. And I will get to all of that in just a bit so first let's talk about these first set of matches here some solid matches to start out starting out with nick lee uh right off the bat i think was a smart move starting out with th those type of matches just get the excitement going and with nick lee just coming out here and tacking uh right was just huge uh we got on rolling a little bit but i think a couple things i want to talk about are you know some takeaways from the event and one of those was like joe lee Maybe maybe bringing some excitement to the Nittany Lions. Um, that is Nick Lee's younger brother, uh, Joe Lee. He actually pinned Zach Hartman of Bucknell. He beat, he pinned him in 21 seconds. Took him down with a beautiful takedown. Went straight to a bow and arrow. Probably learned that from Zane Rutherford. And it was just absolutely brutal. And Z Zach Hartman is a tough tough wrestler i was not expecting that to happen in that match and when that, when i saw that i mean i just i just couldn't believe my eyes so that that was a big takeaway that joe lee may be somebody who's out here for reckoning like i, I i'm excited to see how he does and as we continue down uh some of these matches uh max dean wrestled against cj brucky uh beat him 13 to 4 almost got the tech fall in the last second but i mean this was a pretty exciting uh match for the most part dean actually ended up he was down four zip ended up scoring those uh i believe it was 12 maybe 13 unanswered points um but it, yeah it was four one something like that but anyway uh ended up the match was 13 to 4 with max dean winning uh just absolutely a great wrestler able to work uh on on scoring getting that exposure the entire time uh he's working for that and his uh takedowns were just exciting to watch watching him go for those fakes go for those fakes go for those fakes switch to the other leg i mean he was just controlling uh, and i like to watch those matches where guys kind of come back when they're losing and can come back and come back big those are exciting matches to watch uh and and i i just enjoy them so then that takes us to the second set of matches and the second set of matches were even better they were even better which you know you'd expect that kind of towards the end of the card uh with carter starachi wrestling chance marcel this was a match i was super stoked for the reason was because these are two tough pennsylvania kids uh very tough pennsylvania kids marcel is a little bit older than starachi but you know it's interesting to see how these two stack up against each other now now, Marcelo was able to score the first takedown on Sirachi, but Sirachi later on in the match was able to get in on Chance Marcelo's legs and actually able to get in on his legs a couple times. And Marcelo is somebody who just has some massive tree trunk thighs, massive legs uh, that are just, he's so he, he's so defensive and so difficult to score on. So when Sirachi was able to get on those legs a couple times and constantly work to improve his position in a couple different ways, uh, that was just exciting for, for me to watch and as you know wrestling fans to watch that and he was able to finish with another quick takedown uh at the end i believe it was just kind of snap go behind that he got on marcella able to win it four to two and so that was just huge gilman uh looking great as always and and he called somebody out at the end of the match, uh, but he pinned Pirelli, and, and even before he pinned Pirelli in the first period, 
uh, he was just dominating him. And he was just pushing the pace. And I love that Thomas Gilman mentality, that Iowa mentality that Thomas Gilman has. It's just so exciting to watch. I know some people that, that kind of turns them off, but I really like that. Just constantly pressuring, pushing, uh, pushing him out when, whenever he's getting up and coming back to the center. Like He just wants to keep working. He was up 8-zip before he pinned Pirelli, which was even bigger. And then at the end, uh, we actually saw Willie Saylor actually throughout the whole event interviewing these guys after their matches. Willie, uh, after the Willie trials, which of course you may have been following on the Stalemates Wrestling Channel. If you, if you haven't been following that whole case, I recommend that you check that out there. But we saw Willie back for the first time commentating matches, announcing matches, and interviewing guys, which was super cool to see. And he, and he asked Thomas Gilman, who do you want to wrestle next? And Gilman said, I want Spencer Lee. I want Spencer Lee. I want to wrestle him next. Uh, and we kind of all knew that he wanted to wrestle Spencer Lee, but kind of hearing him call him out here, I like that. I hope that we get that match. I mean, it'd be cool to get it even before the Olympic trials. I don't know if that's going to happen, but it'd be super sweet to get that match before the Olympic trials. And then we have two matches left, and that was with Zane Rutherford teching Reese Humphrey. He beat him 10 to zip, all takedowns for Zane Rutherford, and he was just a total bully out there, and in a good way. You know, Zane's my favorite wrestler to watch because he's just such a bully on the mat. And he just able to control every single situation. Um, and my favorite takedown of that entire match, my favorite takedown that Zane got was right at the end when he just doubled, just doubled straight through Humphrey, just absolutely went ran right right through him to get that final takedown to tech him. And Zane's just he's looking jacked. He's looking jacked, and I can't wait to keep seeing him going along. And the last match of the event was David Taylor going up against Gabe Dino. This was a super exciting match to watch happen. David Taylor ended up getting the best of Dean six to two, but Taylor just he was pushing the pace, pushing the pace, pushing the pace in the first period. Um, and it, maybe six to two doesn't seem like a super close score, and, and, but it was very close. It was actually very close up until the last like. 30 seconds of the match, but Dean was able to get a nice takedown on David Taylor in the second period. So David Taylor was up, but Dean was then able to get a takedown on DT, which was, I mean, he, he just, it was a nice takedown. I mean, like, it was a smooth takedown. That, that's really all I can say about it. It was, it was just very, very nice. And he was able to get in on David Taylor again, but DT was able to defend that shot and actually ended up kind of coming around uh, and getting in uh, on a takedown on uh, Gabe Dean to win the match 6-2. to two. He came out just with an excellent finish at the end of the match. And look, it, it was a very exciting uh, event overall. Uh, my favorite probably match of the event, my favorite moment from the match was probably when Thomas Gilman got the pin uh whenever he was he was like in on uh, he was in on he had a wizard uh, in on Pirelli and then kind of like pancake through him to his back and was able to pin him that was just super exciting but anyways if you're interested in watching other wrestling uh, recaps events or just other wrestling videos on this channel I recommend you check out these videos right here I think you're really going to enjoy them